We all have those life-defining moments where you discover a madness from deep within you that matches the frequency or wavelength of madness in the world. It's an indescribable eureka moment where suddenly from deep within you a sound comes rushing out that blends with the noisy chaos of this world to create a moment of music. I discovered my madness when I was about 15 or 16 years old. I stumbled into a cash and carry near my uh, old high school and I found a packet of chipper chop lollipops. Chipper Chops came in all kinds of zesty fruity flavors and they had a magical bubblegum center that was always a pleasant surprise no matter how many Chipper Chops you had. There were 48 Chipper Chops in a packet and I remember they were selling for 16 bucks a packet. I grew up in the township and anyone that has been to a township in South Africa can attest to the spirit of business that fills the air like the smell of rain on freshly dug soil. Growing up, I was surrounded by business everywhere, from aunties selling fruits and vegetables and taxi ranks, to car washes with barbecue grills that would turn into taverns and pubs by night. The township was a buzz with people on the move everywhere, selling whatever they could find to survive. And even though business was always a distant part of my life, it was only at that moment in that cash and carry holding that packet of chipper chops could I feel the captivating drug of entrepreneurship piercing my skin, flowing through my veins and to my heart. I love chipper chops and everyone I knew loved chipper chops and I knew at that moment I could sell these things easily with my eyes closed at a buck a pop. I stood in that aisle smiling at the corrugated rooftop as I contemplated the margins like an adolescent teenager getting their first kiss, there was no turning back. I was in love. It's interesting how one moment can shift your paradigm completely. It's as if I had always been blind and I put on the lens of entrepreneurship and suddenly could see the world of money much more clearly. I stood at that aisle and had already worked out my pricing strategy. I knew the market I could go after. I knew exactly how I could generate hype. I had already worked out prospect of scalability and how I could introduce new lines. Like a sports tactician, I knew the steps needed to be taken to score the game winning goal. If you think about sports, all teams have various tactics that can be deployed to move the ball around when the team is in offense. These tactics are known as plays. And these carefully thought out and orchestrated plays require people known as playmakers to put into motion and make them happen. Playmakers are individuals with an exceptional ability to pull on the resources required to make the right plays happen when the moment arises. Every team has a playmaker who sees the field of play reads the game and facilitates putting the right play in motion to move the team forward. In soccer, it's the attacking midfielder. In rugby, it's the fly half. In basketball, it's the point guard. In American football, it's the quarterback. The playmaker assesses and sees the field of play. He reads the temper and flow of the game and then facilitates executing the right play that will ultimately lead to a goal being scored. My definition of entrepreneurship is simply being a playmaker. Whether it's chipper chop lollipops, services, skills, software, whatever your ball or sports may be, entrepreneurship is simply all about seeing the field, reading the game, and making the play. See the field, read the game, and make the play. What makes great entrepreneurs great is their ability to see the current reality in detail and spot opportunities where most people don't. Entrepreneurs are visionaries who are able to imagine a better future in as much detail as possible. The world that we live in is filled with unlimited problems. You know, some problems exist today, other problems will exist in the near future. Problems are the canvas entrepreneurs use to paint their game plan. Peter Diamandis is the chairman of the XPRIZE Foundation. He is the co-founder and executive chairman of the Singularity University. He is a physician, 
an engineer and one heck of a playmaker who was famous for saying, the best way to become a billionaire is to solve the billion person problem. Innovation is about connecting problems to solutions. And that's what entrepreneurs do, but if you don't see the field, you won't be able to spot the problems and connect them to opportunities. There's a story of two guys who were very smart, very educated. They were accountants in the financial services sector and they worked together and they were good mates and they decided to go on holiday together to India. They get to India and they start walking the streets of Mumbai and one of the friend looks around, he turns to his friend and says, wow, how sad. Look at all these people here who are barefoot. His friend looks around, turns to his friend, smiling and says, wow, what a shoe business. You see, seeing the field is about keeping your eye on the ball while still being able to conceptualize the bigger picture. Where other people see kids on a school bus, you're able to hold a packet of chipper chops and see a thriving confectionery enterprise. Great entrepreneurs see beyond how things are to how they could be. See the problem, connect them to opportunities. The question is, what do you see? Thousands of barefoot people or a thriving shoe business? Once you see the field, which is spotting opportunities by connecting problems to solutions, you then have to read the game. Reading the game is about understanding what you're playing for, who you're playing with, and who you're playing against. Entrepreneurship is not really limited to starting a business, and one can be a playmaker in any field. What's important is for you to understand the heartbeat of your organization, team, or market by having your finger on the pulse. Goals win matches. And your goal could be increasing your profit margins, it could be gaining efficiencies through process and system refinement, or addressing social economic imbalances. Figuring out what goals you want to score is easy. What makes entrepreneurs shine is their ability to pull resources together which facilitates making goal scoring possible. Pulling resources together is firstly about understanding your own strengths, your own skill sets and your role as a leader and orchestrator. Secondly, playmakers are masters at leveraging the strengths and skills of others around them. When it comes to entrepreneurship, isolation is death. Entrepreneurs are masters at connecting people to people and then connecting those people to other people. However you choose to quantify your goals, it's imperative to understand that your network is your net worth. Because without a network, you won't be able to develop a passage of play that facilitates goals being scored. Reading the game is also about understanding who you're playing against. Whether it's teams of people who are after the same thing you are after or barriers that make it increasingly difficult to score goals, entrepreneurs will always face competition. Reading the game is about anticipating that competition and developing strategies to stay ahead of it. Once you've seen the field and read the game, all that's left to do is to make the play. Making the play is about taking risk. Seeing the field and reading the game allows entrepreneurs to take calculated risk. Because at the end of the day, there can be no goal scored or reward experience without risk or action being taken. What trips us up is that we overthink and we overcomplicate things. The genius of entrepreneurship is in its simplicity. Entrepreneurs are playmakers who question. There are people who refuse to accept the world as it is. Inspiration can be found literally anywhere from the sweet aisles and cash and carries to the densely populated streets of Mumbai, India. 
If you're going to be a great playmaker, you must embrace the words of Squire Bill Whitener, whose philosophy was, do what you can where you are with what you have. The crowds are in the grandstands, ready for an action-packed thriller entrepreneur. I have no doubt that it's going to be a movie. All you have to do is see the field, read the game, and make the play.